In a tough game, the Fairfield Co-op hockey team ended its winning season with a loss to West Haven this month. But it's what came after that truly tested the team. News 12 Connecticut's Caitlin Nukla reports. In hockey, a goalie's job is to make saves. He was definitely on the back ones of our team. This game started like all the others with Fairfield's number 30, Charlie Capalbo, in net. The last game of the season, he felt really lightheaded. You saw him, you know, like holding his hand on the post, trying to hold himself up. Him and his brother both thought they had like a mono. We all thought that he was just under the weather. They weren't prepared for this. An unoxygen lymphoma, uh, stage three. Coach had to break that news to 27 teenaged boys. We knew that it was bad um, because the, the tumor grew very fast. And just as quickly, life had changed. Just seeing him rolled by in his bed in the hallway with his eyes closed, I could see him, but he can't see me. And just thinking I was playing hockey with this kid four days ago, you know, that's the image that stuck in my head. You'd never expect that to happen. It's just completely out of nowhere. And that's what was so overwhelming about it. So roles reversed, and now the team is behind their goalie every step of the way, even on the way to the OR. But we all have each other, and we're all there for him. In less than a week, a GoFundMe page has raised nearly $150,000. Each goal has been met and raised, an obvious testament to how beloved Charlie is. And then there's that smile. That picture describes Charlie in my world. That's who he is, like nothing stops him. He'll, keep, he'll smile through the whole thing no matter how hard it is. Taking on his toughest opponent will mean 32 months of chemo, but doctors say the cancer is beatable. Everyone said, why, why does it have to be Charlie? Because he's just the nicest kid. He has such a good attitude and we know he's gonna fight through it. And now the team is fighting for number 30 to make the biggest save of his life. Oh, he'll be this thing. He'll, 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 he'll prevail. Yeah, I know him. Gets you choked up, right? Charlie's family tells us they are overwhelmed and so grateful for all of the love and support. They say one man donated $24,000 wow. to that GoFundMe campaign. If you'd like to help, we have a link to that page and also some information about a charity hockey tournament in April that's coming up. It's all on News12.com. Lots of people rooting for him. Absolutely. Inspiring. Thank you, Kate.